Good morning, everyone. Today, or I guess it's afternoon, or it's close to noon, on Saturday the 13th of April 2024. Um, we're starting in the book of James today. Now, there's been a lot of controversy over James. Martin Luther didn't like James very well. <laughs> And there's a lot of paradoxes in Scripture. James says that without works, you know, without, there's no faith without works, right? And it does say that God has ordained that we walk in good works. But it was all ordained to God. It wasn't based upon the free will of man. And James also says that um, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. And he goes on to say, of his own will beget he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. So he doesn't purport the free will of man. He says it's of his own will, of God's will. He beget us with the word of truth. And so, that's kind of uh, the thing that I like about James, is he sits of his own will to beget he us. Now, um, I think that Paul, is, I, I favor Paul over James, I'll say that. Paul says it's either of grace or of the works. You can't have both as far as salvation goes. So, anyway, I'm going to turn this over to Mark and let him read this chapter for you. James chapter 1. <coughs> James, a servant of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, the twelve tribes were scattered abroad. Greeting. My brethren, count all joy when you fall into divers temptations. Knowing this, to the trying of your faith, work of patience, but let patience have her perfect work. They may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, to give it to all men liberally, and appraise it not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think he shall that you shall receive anything in the Lord, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. The brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. But the rich in that he is made low, because the flower of the grass he shall pass away. The sun is no sooner risen with the burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth. Grace the fashion that perishes, so also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he receives the crown of life. So the Lord hath promised to them that love him. But no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he any man. Every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived to bring forth sin, and sin when it is finished bringing forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift, every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no verbalness. It is a shadow of turning. Of his own will beget he is with the word of truth. We should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. 
Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. The wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness and grafted word. Sable to save your souls, be ye doers the word, and not hearers only. Receive your own self. For if any man be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like a man beholding the natural face of the glass. Behold himself, and go with his way, and straightway forgets what manner of man he was. Whoso looketh in the perfect law of liberty, it continueth therein. Be it not forgetful here, but do of the work. This man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you see to be religious, and bridle not his tongue, but see with his heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and defiled before God, and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows, and their affliction to keep himself unspotted from the world. Okay, thank you, Mark. Hope you all have a good weekend today. Weekend.